Social justice warriors, they are the fucking thing that has always pissed the living shit out of me because they find problem in everything over the fucking internet. And when someone is debunking their bullshit, they claim that, oh, we are being harassed. And when they see problem in somewhere, they use it as an excuse to fucking harass someone to a point of fucking suicide. Well, ain't that fucking crazy? Would be shit, dude. You people really need to get a real fucking hobby. Um, there's this really good artist. Um, she's a part of Stephen Universe and My Little Pony and Homestuck um, Phantom. Um, her name is uh, Jami 070, and she just recently was harassed to a point or fucking suicide, because these fucking social justice warriors didn't like the art that she was drawing. Oh, you didn't draw this character fat enough. Oh, that character is wearing very offensive fucking clothes. Hey, let's take a look at this fucking... this shit that's been going on a little. So le let me debunk each and every one of these fucking retarded arguments and accusations that she's getting over the internet, okay? So, one of the fucking problems that these fucking social justice warriors are seeing in her drawings is when she drew her own version of, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but Yawamushi Pedal Cycling Anime, where she drew her fucking presentation of the three certain characters that are pr at present in that anime, and these people social justice warriors, I can't even fucking call them people, they're fucking morons, imbeciles. Anyways, um, they complain that she drew this one character with the fucking slant eyes and this other character with way too open eyes and what the fucking ever. Well, if we take a look at the anime itself and the anime characters, let's count how many of them have slant eyes. Let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, well, that's what I can see, and these are supposed to be the fucking main heroes of the fucking series, so... Oh my god, she drew Japanese people with slant eyes, oh wow! And it's like there ain't any fucking Asian people out there who don't have fucking slant eyes. No, 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 they have big white fucking open eyes where they're looking so animal, and then those eyes turn all sparkly when they see something cute. Fuck you. Anyways, um, in this next case, um, she drew this My Little Pony character, uh, Fluttleshy, as a Native American girl. It's a really cute drawing, I really like this drawing. And, well, of course, someone is having a problem with this. You wanna guess what the fucking problem is? Well, let's take a look. Okay, I hear people say that this is cultural appropriation, but it is actually not, and it is instead super racist, and here's why. One, the red skin thing is racist in itself. Don't draw Native American people with red skin, A-V-A-R. Two, thick loads. Three, thick loads. Four, thick loads. Yeah, basically, if we're gonna draw Native American people, that's okay, but don't do it like this. This is stereotypical, and therefore, really racist. Signed, a Native American person. Okay, first of all, I really have to question if you truly are a fucking Native American person, because don't give me this fucking bullshit where your great 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 ancestor was a Native American, but my mother is an Italian and my father is a Mongolian from fucking Mexico. Because that doesn't mean that you're fucking Native American. It means that you're a fucking mixed bag. Fuck a lot of onions in a pot with potatoes, peanuts and carrots. Let's put some tomato juice in there too. Mm. And really, the red skin thing is offensive? Do you fucking realize that there are multiple different cultures of Native Americans out there? Well, at least there used to be. Some of them were red as fuck. 
how about the fucking clothing? Well, uh, they are fucking Native American clothing of certain tribe from way beyond the past, from the 1900s, 1800s ago. So what's so fucking offensive about them? Just because it is a fucking stereotype, it doesn't mean they are absolutely really fucking offensive. Do you realize where the fucking stereotypes come from? They come from reality. When there is a stereotype of something, it usually is based on facts. And I'm quite sure this person of Fluttershy is not supposed to represent current day Native Americans because we know that um, a lot of Native Americans don't dress in the fucking buffalo letter in these days anymore. They use le regular clothing just like you and I. What's this? A Finnish stereotype? Oh my god, I am so offended right now. It's not like any Finnish people are drinking vodka or playing cantile or have dressed like that back in the whenever. Oh my god, look at this very stereotypical Mexican dress from back from the wild, wild west ages where fucking Americans used to shoot Mexicans and Mexicans tried to take over to America even though Mexico is in America but you have to make the fucking separation because you know we Americans are true Americans and other countries they're not Americans, they're just Canada, Cuba, Mexico, fucking Hawaii that's no America. It's, it's, uh, we are the true fucking Americans in here, okay? Stop being a fucking moron. And in this next case, these social justice warriors are complaining about her removing an afro from a black character. Well, who the shit do? Who the fuck cares? It's not like black people couldn't ever fucking place their hair or uh, uh, recolor it yellow. It's not like black people wouldn't know what the fuck the hairstyle is this. Hairstyle? Is the what's that? Is it something to eat? Nope, it doesn't smell like chicken or melons. Sorry, nigga, I ain't no interested. And then in this bottomless heap of stupidity, she didn't draw one character fat enough. Oh my god, she looks way too skinny. This must be a fat phobia. Fuck you. If you're one of those fucking fat ass social justice warrior feminists out there who complain about skinny people, I've got a fucking solution for you. Stop stuffing your face with fucking McDonald's hamburgers and go hit the fucking gym! You know, I know that the United States of America is known for its fat people, but it's not like they couldn't do anything about it. And let me tell you something, even though you Americans love to think that obese is some sort of fucking disease, it's not. It's, it's fucking not. You can do something about yourself. Only 1% of the whole population have this certain kind of fat disease that prevents them from getting skinny no matter what they do. And yes, there are certain kinds of medications that can fuck up your body real good too. But you know what? You can consult your fucking doctor with that. I'm quite sure that no matter what condition you have, no matter what uh, fucking medicine you are using, you can ask your doctor if there is an alternative that doesn't fuck up with your body so bad that you couldn't possibly get skinny. And of course, at the bottom of a barrel, the circle of idiocy won't be complete without calling someone a transphobe. Yes, this person made couple of fucking tranny jokes. Jokishly call tranny people dudes or men. So fucking what? But you know, these fucking social justice warriors, they don't even know what phobia means. And let me enlighten you if you're one of these people who just like to call someone a phobia this, phobia that. You know what phobia means? Phobia means unreasonable disgust of certain kind of things. Unreasonable fear of certain kind of things, unreasonable hate of certain kinds of things. And you know what? Jokes doesn't fit into any of these fucking categories. Oh my god, he used the word tranny. Oh wow, you're a social justice warrior who just got offended by the things that I just said. Well, I'm so, so sorry, except I'm fucking not, you entitled little bitch. Go crawl back under the fucking rotten trunk you came from. You know, I usually like to keep my channel clean of this social justice warrior bullshit, but, you know, 
when they are harassing helpless people, I just feel that it's my responsibility to step in and call these motherfuckers out. You know, she, you're doing a good job. Um, keep on living, keep on drawing what you draw, and remember, internet is a culture, a whole new culture of its own. Don't pay attention to these fucking social justice warriors. Don't let them get under of your skin. They are not worth of your time. And most certainly, these fucking assholes are not worth of your life.